Congress just legalized hemp in the new farm bill, and that means hemp products could soon be hitting store shelves near you, including CBD. CBD, or cannabidiol, is the non-psychoactive chemical component of cannabis. Its proponents say it can help with anxiety, stress, pain, insomnia, even cancer. You can already buy it in oils, balms, lotions, drinks, even pet supplements. CBD can be extracted from both hemp and marijuana. The two plants are both members of the cannabis plant family, but marijuana contains much more of the psychoactive component THC, and it is still considered federally illegal. So CBD's legal future is hazy. Now the CBD that's part of marijuana is still going to be illegal under federal law, but that's the uh, strain of marijuana that is used for medicinal benefits. Often, for example, kids that have epilepsy will use CBD to reduce the level of seizures. The FDA recently approved Epidiolex, a CBD-based treatment for epilepsy. But that medication uses CBD that's sourced from marijuana. Proponents claim CBD is kind of a wonder drug that can help with all kinds of medical issues. So many people that have walked through our door who, haven't, who, who are stuck on these pharmaceutical drugs and they're just complaining about the side effects and they come back a week later and often, more times than none, they say they have stopped their pharmaceutical drugs. It's just amazing. But experts say there isn't enough evidence to prove hemp CBD has the same medical benefits as CBD from marijuana. You know, a lot of people, especially in the public health community, think that it's been oversold or missold as this sort of having this medical benefit. And I think that's one of the reasons we need better regulation of the hemp industry. And hopefully this is what, um, you know, what this legalization will bring um, and, and, and a sort of stronger federal government role. Because you see, you know, whether it's like online or in shops, a lot of snake oil really being sold, you know, under the guise of CBD. CBD products that are currently available on the retail market aren't regulated, and they often don't contain what they say they do. A 2017 study by the American Medical Association examined 84 CBD products sold online and found almost 70 percent were mislabeled. And I think what's happened is like some, uh, you know, cunning entrepreneurs, shall we say, have taken advantage of the fact that hemp does have CBD in it and kind of marketed it as if it is something that has the same benefits as, as, as the CBD from marijuana, but it doesn't. But with legalization comes regulation, and that means better labeling and better understanding of what is in hemp CBD products as they start to become more widely available. And legalization will make it easier for researchers to access hemp CBD in order to study its potential health benefits. States can also apply for federal research grants to study hemp.